massive work once and this video I'm going to do beef soup and I am using beef bones no meat just the um just the bones and um I need the bones because the bones will flavor the soup because they don't know so the flavor is in the bone anyway I am also using beef shin beef shin is soup meat and I am using the beef shin to get meat so what I'm gonna do now is to cut away the fats and then just cut the meat not too small so I have bone right here as well so I'm gonna wash I'm gonna wash this this is what it um, it looks like I'm cutting so I'm gonna wash this is a pot with five cups of water the soup might need more water not sure but I am starting with five cups of water so I'm gonna add some pimento seeds two cloves garlic so I'm gonna add the meat the beef So I'm using curry pumpkin. This is called curry pumpkin or soup pumpkin. I am also using two cocoa. Cocoa is called, I think, Afro yam or something of the sort. So you can Google Afro yam to know what is cocoa if you don't know. Two Irish potatoes. And I am also using two carrots now I would have used turnip but I can't get no turnip I don't put chocho in soup I cook the chocho and eat it but I don't put it in soup for me basically chocho takes away the taste of the soup but that's me somebody else might tell us something different so I'm not put no chocho in my soup also it is not corn time in Jamaica, so I can't get no corn to buy. So now corn I go in a soup and corn not have in the soup either. A lot of people in Jamaica make them soup and no corn in there. Okay, so to the pot I am adding the pumpkin, Irish potatoes and carrots. Peel, wash and cut into chunks. So now I am adding the Quokka. and I have to be careful with the quokka because it will itch it itch more than yam so the quokka gives the soup body you want the soup to have a nice body so now I'm gonna cover the pot and I'm gonna put this pot on medium heat and cook everything until the meat is tender and then I will continue from there it has been 30 minutes and the beef is partially cooked the curry pumpkin gives the soup that color so i added one pound of yellow yam the yellow yam is peeled washed and then cut into chunks So I did need two cups of all-purpose flour and then I cover it and allow it to rest for about 20 minutes so that the dough will be moist and so um, as a result of that I will get better eating dumplings. I did not video it because I already have a video uploaded to this channel how to make the perfect dough so I will put a link 
to that video in this channel or maybe in the description box so i am making some small dumplings right now and adding them to the soup 10 minutes after putting the yam into the pot and then giving it a good stir so that the dumplings do not stick to each other i am using two packs of low sodium cock soup mix low sodium cock soup mix contains less salt than a normal cock soup mix so i did pass them through a strainer to remove the noodles so i discard the noodles and then add the flavor to the pot i call it flavor so the spoon that i am using is soup spoon right it may not look like the soup spoon that you want it to look like but it is soup spoon i am not using wooden spoon every time it's a wooden spoon it's a bacteria so i'm not using all right so now i am adding one green pepper you don't know say green pepper is best to use in soup to get the flavor from the green pepper yes and then two stalks scallion and piece of fresh thyme and then give it a good stir lower the heat and uh, allow the soup to simmer and uh, develop body so I did add a pinch of salt, just a little bit of salt to the pot because the salt from the cock soup mix is not enough. It needs a little bit more salt. The soup takes a little bit over an hour to cook. The cooking time varies. It depends on the texture of the beef. The texture of the beef that I used wasn't tough. So the soup is of the consistency that I want. So I'm going to give it a stir and then turn off the heat and wait for at least five minutes before dishing out the soup, you know, allowing the soup to gather its thoughts and all of them something there. Yeah, man, I'm going to rest it for about five minutes before plating. The beef soup is rich in taste, so flavorful, and it has body and wow it smells so good you can almost smell my beef soup on the entire scheme and i live on a very big scheme anyway try this recipe if you want and see for yourself how flavorful it is thanks for watching subscribe